Bam! And we're back. Another episode of Band Cook Meals with my good friend, Brother Ryan Davis. Very famous friend. <laughs> your, Get out of here. You got your mask? What is, uh, it? is that you on your That's me on, on my mouth? mask. So even whenever I cover myself up, you still see my face right there. Is that, would, would one consider that conceited? Nah, man. Or is that just good branding? That's good branding. There you go. That's my logo. Uh, actually, um, you ever watch the show Black AF? Uh, I haven't watched it, but I've seen it. That's Kenya something. Kenya right? Barris and yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, next, the youngest son. Uh huh. He actually has his own mask company. Preteen. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he designed it and sent me some. You know what I mean? Oh. So shout out. Yeah. Oh damn! It must be nice. Ain't nobody sent me shit. Oh man, he's like my little brother, man. <laughs> I met him before the show came out and all of that. So. My real little brother ain't sent me shit. <laughs> No, no, they're great. Yeah. They send me money. They got regular jobs. Hey, they're balling. You wanna know you wanna know what Ron's brothers look like? Just look at Ron. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess you did see him, huh? Yeah, oh, God. yeah. They came Yo, I, I went to we went to a festival. I went to a festival in Detroit and there was three Rons standing at the <laughs> bar. It messed me up so bad. <laughs> no, those guys are cool. Yeah, they're a lot more uh in the in the know than me. But, you know, oh, what are you going to do? So, yeah. Uh, today we are having uh, crawfish, shrimp, and potatoes, and corn, uh, which which most people would just call a, a seafood boil. boil. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a boil. A yeah. seafood boil. <laughs> so, when we get back, a seafood boil. And we're back! So, that was... <laughs> I made this shit already. <laughs> so, here I got a fucking slop towel for you. I appreciate you. Bam! And we're gonna do it like this here. When we get set. Oh, I'm a fanny pack dude now. Okay. Once you go fanny, you can't really go back. You can't undo it's it? Because it's like, it's so convenient. Yo. And our pants are so tight these days. Yes, y'all's pants is so oh, tight. Oh, I meant us as a people, but fine. I'm wearing sweats right there, bro. Oh, yeah. I, w I refuse to conform. <laughs> well, here's the thing, man. Like, you ever think we have more valuable things in our pockets now yes like you didn't used to have a thousand dollar phone in your sweatpants whatever was in sweatpants 20 years ago you didn't need like that. <laughs> yeah. you didn't need like that you just make sure you yeah. got your keys your wallet that's it you got phones now air you don't get insurance man yeah. that's a thirteen hundred dollar slip out of your pocket yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> nobody needs that so yeah. good brother i got a meal for you okay Hopefully it don't spill. Oh, it can spill. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Bam. Well, I know there's food involved. I don't wear my good clothes. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> and for me. And oh, yeah. the camera really can't see, but you know, you oh, get yeah. the idea. Oh, I showed yeah. it already it is. in one of the other edits. Oh, you can spill a Oh, let's bit. go. Let's go. Bam. Got everything. And I don't know what, what you're drinking. For? I've got a green undisclosed <laughs> lemon lime beverage <laughs> and an undisclosed uh, alcoholic beverage. So I think it's I think the name's on every side, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you can do about that one. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. So we in this mug. All right, I'm gonna do like this. Do one of these here. Yeah. I thought about mm -hmm. it, but you know. You know, hey, I don't care. It is what it is. We're here. We're queer. Get yeah. over it. That's what I'm saying. Nah, I got a shirt with flowers on it, so I'm gonna just go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna just let the juice hit this. I'm yeah. just go. <laughs> oh, I got a fucking pail for okay. it. Okay. There you go. All right. So, who, who prepared the the boil? Me. Okay. Yeah. That's the whole hook of the show. Yeah, man. But uh, off camera, <laughs> you can tell me who really cooked this. <laughs> me. <laughs> no mess with it. All you do is put the shit in water. I I did this because it was easy. And I, I've been trying to get another episode in for the longest, but it'd be so much work to like shoot now and edit. My question is, 
did you have concerns that I wasn't gonna fuck with crawfish so you threw the shrimp in there just because or no. it wasn't part of your because you know they they the same family but one of them right. is the, was the poor cousin <laughs> the other one is the sub, suburban cousin you know what it was it was it was like because I had a bag of crawfish and I was like I can just just have crawfish what kind of there's no because you know when I do the editing and the cooking part wow Good, yeah. Yeah. It's when like, I saw you do that, I was like, oh, he the, he's versed. He the, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this, this not like something new. This is oh, like, yeah, this no. is Wednesday night for me. I didn't know you was a crawfish man. See, me, man, yeah. Cajun food is, is my thing, man. I eat gator and all kinds of stuff, man. I had oh. alligator once, I think. Oh, man. I don't really remember how it tastes. I've had yeah, frog you more. Mm. Frog is the one I don't really remember. Like, that is it chewy. It's a little chewy. Frog is like I think I remember fish. it being chewy, yeah. It's like fish chicken. So is gator. Mmm. Yeah. That's a very good description. But the thing I love about Cajun food, you know, as far as the gator comes, you know, the uh, sauces. They don't ever, you know, give you gator by itself. It's always coming with some. Ah. Yeah. I see. Some type of uh, spiced, <laughs> very uh -huh. pretty spicy sauce. To dip it in and it's always fire I've, i'm yet to go to a place and the sauce wasn't fire mm. so yeah the uh the the i don't know what you call it crawfish seasoning oh uh, yeah. it's like that juice from the head or the body that's the best part man but yeah i got shrimp because wow. you know, want something else with it corn and shit. oh okay you look on the crawfish bag and it got shrimp on it so i was like oh okay i'm gonna get some fucking shrimp oh man also, uh, we're uh, at my neighborhood, so if you see my eyes just move for no reason, it's because bad bitches walk up and down the street all the time. I know. You know, I used to live in North Hollywood. Yeah. When I was living in my van. Well, I, I lived a little bit of everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> all the thick bitches. Man. And women. And the thick women. Yeah. But, you know, to make it seem as if bitches don't exist would be disrespectful to bitches. <laughs> That is Man. so true. You make I say like that only all the time. Only women exist. There's some bitches out here too. Yeah. They're proud of it. But yeah, they That's be... good. One of my favorite things to say is hoes exist. Sure. I it used to make me mad when people were like, don't be calling people a hoes. Hoes exist. Yeah. Let's not let's not be ridiculous. They're necessary. Very necessary. Everybody ain't always wanting to be around self-respecting ladies. Yeah. I mean what fucking club <laughs> is full of queens. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, the queen club. Uh, uh, yeah, I, that's not what I'm trying twerk? to get. Yeah, I'm not trying to go there. <laughs> like, you no. go in there and, and, and all these fucking queens calling you king. King, king. <laughs> Don't worry about a drink. We're going to drink some tea. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where the bitches and hoes at? <laughs> Y'all hoes ain't twerking in there? Excuse me, brother. There are no hoes in here. Oh, I'm in the wrong club. I'm in the wrong club then. <laughs> where the hoes at? You don't never hear niggas walk through the building and go, where the queens at? It's always where the hoes at. Oh, shit, brother. We about to go get some queens tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. I settle down with queens. Sure. I don't go out to settle down. You stay in the house to settle down. Right. Oh, I still pontificate on life and the goings on of it with some upstanding, beautiful queens. <laughs> Does that sound fun? <laughs> Not pontificating. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I, I always liked North Hollywood. Yeah. You That's the only place money, here right? I've ever lived. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, people will be like, man, your place is nice. And I'll be like, I don't know what other places look like. Oh, so, yeah. I don't, so I don't even know. Yeah. I lived in, uh, what, like the, the jungles area. Mm -hmm. These are all places I parked. Yeah. The jungles area, uh, North Hollywood, uh, like kind of West Hollywood-ish. Okay. Underneath. West Hollywood is very clean. Yeah. Underneath Runyon Canyon. And it's so weird because I didn't know that's you where it was. You could go underneath it? So, like, wherever people park to go to Runyon Canyon, that's where I would park because it was this shade, it was this tree with some shade there, and late night it would always be parking there. A lot of people didn't know about it. And when I would wake up, it'd always be white people, like, fucking with athletic gear walking around. <laughs> and 
because I just would always wonder, like, what the fuck are they doing here? <laughs> they was going up to Runyon Canyon or something. Like, I, I to this day, I've never been to Runyon Canyon, but I know where I would park to sleep is where they would park to go. <laughs> yeah. I've been to Runyon. How you ain't been to Runyon? Because what I'm gonna do? Go run? Walk it? All right. I don't need to walk. <laughs> you need to walk there. Fuck that shit. I almost died. <laughs> there? <laughs> almost. Because. Like, when you think about, I was like, you know, this is the options. You know, you're like, oh, I can't run it. I'll walk it. And so you think walking is a safe <laughs> bet, <laughs> but it's all, like, incline. Yeah. And, and, dude, I didn't realize how out of shape I was, man. I was dying. Yeah. I was dying. Yeah, that's a hard thing to find out, that you out of shape while doing an activity that and you need to be in shape. To the do dude and... There is no quit. Like, it's just, it's, like, I, I if you quit running, if you do running, and you quit on the way up and decide to walk back, finish it. Finish it. Because going downhill is actually more difficult than going up. <laughs> what is, so, to, to finish running, what is it, is it like a circle or something? Mm -hmm. What is it? Once you get to the top, it's an easy walk down. It's not even, oh. it is like regular walking on the way down. Ah, interesting. Like yeah. I said, I, I've never been there. Interesting. No one told me that. I turned around and walked back, and it was worse on the way back down. Yeah, because I would imagine, what, it's a steep... Steep. It's steep to go down mm -hmm. back the way you came up as opposed to finish it out. So you really using your leg muscles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to not fall and not, but I'm already tired. Yeah. <laughs> So everybody's watching it, so it's like a walk of shame. Everybody's watching me quit, <laughs> but struggle to get back. Well, I'm going to have to check it out at some point. <laughs> There'd be a bunch of girls up there, too. Hell yeah. Yeah, all the... Uh, oh, I'm just going to call them females. <laughs> all of the females that are attractive go there and get the glutes right and keep it tight. And yeah, I'm going to have to go up there. But... For those who do not know what you're looking at, when you see me bite the corn and put it back, it's because I'm just soaking up all the juice to sit in. Oh. <laughs> I can eat my corn and run rotation, but this juice is hitting. Like, it never <laughs> even dawned on me to explain how to do any of this, because I'm just like, mm -hmm. I'm just eating. But I guess for some people, yeah, because this is going on the internet, they don't even really know what these are. Or what the, so these are, I don't want to drip everywhere. These are... Crawfish or crayfish or craw dads or craw daddies. This is a shrimp that <laughs> went to college. <laughs> this is a shrimp that dropped out of high school. <laughs> this is a baby lobster. All you need to know, man. So you fucking, right? You take it and then you <laughs> take the, the tail off, suck the body, no homo. Or all homo, depending on what you're into. <laughs> 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 and then you take the tail. And you pull it out or bite it out, and then you chew, and you keep it moving. Very Good. popular in Louisiana. That's why homophobia is stupid. Why? Because you got to be progressive to do the joke you just did. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Progressiveness <laughs> is hilarious. <laughs> Y'all are missing out on, all you homophobic people are missing out on some great material. <laughs> <laughs> By being closed-minded. Oh, it's so funny when you do black shows <laughs> and you and you've been on a run of doing like some regular old, good old wholesome white shows. You know, <laughs> white people just want to laugh, and then you know you can work some new jokes out, and you go do them in front of black people, and they like, oh, what? <laughs> you old? And they just call you all the filth, flying filths in the world. <laughs> Like, no, 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 it's a joke. See, because I'm not gay, and that's why it's funny. Like, oh, oh, fam. No, we ain't going for nigga. that. Nigga, <laughs> we were, I wasn't going to tell this ever, but whatever. <laughs> I'm going to tell it now. I we, ain't got no followers. Don't know, anybody going to see this. Man, they're going to pull this shit up later <laughs> in life. Watch. So, I was at Oakland, right? I, I, I ain't got to say the person's name. We were at Oakland. So. Well, I'll tell you what, say the name, and I'll blurt it out. Well, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, we was in Oakland, 
<laughs> it was a great show. It was a great show. It was a multiple headliner show. Mm-hmm. You can bleep all of these out if you want to. It was. Uh-huh. It was me, Chris Spencer, Arsenio Hall, JB Smooth, what Marlon Wayans. Yeah. Was this a Def Jam reunion? Oh, man, listen, this show was hell of a, and we were all killing. You hear me? Mm-hmm. And then, and then he came. He went up the clothes at the end because, of course, he's the biggest star. Mm-hmm. Now he did one joke Is about it a black crowd. Yes. He did a joke about being captured by terrorists and having to suck dick to get out. (laughs) But I tell you, niggas turned on him like nobody's business. Niggas said, they they were like, fuck all the movies we love about this nigga. Fuck everything. I'm out. I'm out. I ain't come in to see this shit, nigga. Yo, niggas (laughs) was gone. They peeled the... Boy, oh shit! That's I, funny. I love black people, man. I swear, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Look, I was like, oh, 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 so now I can't joke. So now y'all can't take a joke. Uh, yeah, man. All of us joked. All everybody. I mean, they were so receptive to jokes. That nigga, they did not come here to hear no man talk about sucking dick. That's the other thing too. Like, it sound it sounds crazy, but like, if you don't, if you don't do that joke and like. And like, kind of, I don't want to say had the confidence behind it. Like he ain't got confidence, but like, you just gotta know what you're getting into and yeah. be like, have some type of nah, bucket behind the. Martin joke. Lawrence can do that. Yeah, he did it, and you so crazy. Fucking uh, Richard Pryor. Yeah. This nigga said. But I don't like mentioning Richard because this nigga. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's different. Animal. Yeah, this nigga was able to do anything. This nigga said, "I had a dick sucking habit." <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's on live and I think what is it, live and smoking. Yeah, and people and people be like he the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> on his <laughs> own roast, he said Paul Mooney was with me when I I'm not gonna say the gay f word. I'm gonna say it and blurt it out. Paul Mooney was with me when I fucked my first. <laughs> what? <laughs> he just just said that. Yeah. Well, he's still the greatest. So with all this race war shit, man. This is my first episode since I've been out of jail, since quarantine, since George Floyd. I ain't talked to nobody. Jesus. Yep. Nigga, my social media has been popping since then because... All this shit. It's yep. right up your alley. It's right up my alley. That's the part that has me laughing mm-hmm. is because, like, the worst shit in the world is going on, but because I'm a conscious comedian, yeah. <laughs> yeah. people are discovering me now. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll be laughing in the com- when I read the comments. People are like, man, I'm glad you switched up your style in order to accommodate. I was like, what? Just what go, you be it. Scroll it back. You'll see. Go back. Was, I've been doing this for years. And, I'm, and I feel bad for the comedians that's not conscious because, you know, niggas have been getting canceled and all kinds of shit because they don't really know how to respond in times like this. But people are asking them too, and that's unfair to them. I ain't if you, asking them to respond. Yeah, just yeah. the, you know, if somebody's never been conscious, and they just make you laugh. Hey, man. That's, sometimes that's all they got. You can't ask them to say something, and then when they say something, you go, "Man, you ain't say that right. Cancel." Well, you told me to say something. Well, fuck, I was being quiet. Yeah. <laughs> you knocked on my door and said, "What you think about?" Man, yeah. I don't really give a fuck. Cancel. <laughs> <laughs> What you come here for? <laughs> Maybe the reason people are quiet because they don't have the words. A lot of people. And that's I'm finding, okay. <laughs> I'm finding that that's the case. Like a lot of people, they have the sentiment, but they're not able to articulate mm-hmm. their feeling. And it's like, and I see people who can understand that the person simply is not able to articulate what they want to say. But they fuck them over anyway. They hang them or they fucking cancel yeah. them. And it's like, but you know what they was trying to say. You Not just me. understand that they didn't say it correctly. And now it's fucked them? Yeah. But whatever. Man, Mike Epps came out and said something. And Ari Spears didn't like what he said. And I was like, I was like, Aries one. is a tough cookie. One, Ari Spears kicks niggas off his shows all the time. So... I'm not here for Aries Spears' Black Power movement. Not, not here at all. Two, 
Mike Epps never says anything. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> what the fuck are you supposed to say? Hey, y'all, let me tell y'all about it. Mike Epps never says anything. He came out and said something, and we all understood what he was trying to say. Mm-hmm. We all understood what he was trying to say. If you say that you didn't understand what he was trying to say, you're just being an asshole. He just wasn't able to articulate it in a way that didn't piss some people off. But if you were pissed off, it was only because you chose to... Mm. I'm sorry, man. I was rude to eat in the middle of talking, but... This shit is hot this as shit fuck. Is hitting. I, I love spicy food. This corn too damn hot. I, I fucked around and I don't know what I put in here, but I didn't think about how absorbent corn was. I was hoping. <laughs> mm. But anyway, Mike Epps. Yeah, like he didn't work it a certain way. And this is the thing when people argue with people too. They'll go, hey man, what you should have said was this and repeat what the person said, but say it the right way. I'm just like, but so you, you knew that's what they meant. You, so got, you got it. it. That meant you got it. You a dickhead. That's all that told me. Barry Spears is such a, such a weird, weird dude, man. Mm -hmm. He's uh, seems like he's angry a lot about things that, I mean, I don't know his life, so I can't say he shouldn't be mad at. <clears throat> but it's like. What are you talking about, man? I mean, man, that should have me you, laughing. You've been famous since you was 16. <laughs> I, you're not happy yet about nothing? Man, I used to be on his side. I did before. When he was taking shots at Kevin Hart, I was like, man, I can understand why this nigga's so mad. I didn't understand that at all. Yeah, because you've been in it. You've been in the industry. I wasn't in the industry. And I was just like, Aries is good too, man. He deserves these opportunities or whatever, right? And then, <laughs> and then Kevin said, hey man, there was a lot of years where Aries Spears was the only nigga comedian on TV and yeah. this nigga didn't drop but one special. Yeah. When Kevin said that, I couldn't hear nothing else <laughs> Aries Spears said. That's the thing. <laughs> nigga, like you, you was on TV. And you wasn't dropping no specials, no nothing? Aerie Spears. You ain't work hard enough, dog. That's what Spears it was. was on Def Comedy Jam. Yep, I watched it. At 16. Doing impressions of Eddie Murphy and Andrew Dice Clay. Yep. Aerie Spears is 107 now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He's however old he is. He's had a pretty good career, I think. Right. But to just use... Not to only use, but to use your platform and be like, Kevin Hart didn't get it the right way. Like, brother, yeah, you've been doing it long enough to get it every which way possible. <laughs> you could have murdered a motherfucker by now. Got went to jail for murder, got out, and then Places. continued. Oh yeah, pretty good. Anyway, enough about him. <clears throat> Shit. Wow. This is clear nasal passages. Mm -hmm. One more? Yep. You want more? Yep. Oh, okay. So, you took mushrooms. Yes. For the first time. Mm hmm. Where were you? Who were you with? How did it go? Um, first time I did it, I was in a hotel with the mother of my children and my kids. And um, for those who are going, man, this nigga is an irresponsible parent. Mm -mm. First off, I had multiple hotel rooms. All right, it was Damn. a suite. Ballin'. It was a suite. Balling. Connected to another hotel room. So in the room I was high in, there was a whole room between me and my children's room. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's about as responsible as it gets. Yeah, so I was not high in front of my kids. Um, Which, who to say that that's bad? But, but, listen. Maybe for the first listen, time. Okay, but listen, yeah, yeah, listen. Yeah. Because I didn't know how I'd react. Right, so right, right. I did it. But after getting high on mushrooms, mm -hmm. In the midst of my high, I invited my children in because I was completely safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the high that came with mushrooms actually made me a better and more loving person. <laughs> I was hugging and kissing my children a lot more. So much, in fact, they were like, man, when did you become this guy? I don't care. Give a fuck. Uh, come here, you little mistakes. Y'all weren't <laughs> mistakes at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got sins. <laughs> you, know, you know what? I really fucking love y'all. Yeah. 
I don't express it like this is what mushrooms is doing. It was like you don't like <laughs> you, I'm repeating everything mushrooms is telling me. Yeah. Like there's a higher consciousness outside of myself. You going, know, like, hey man, you really love your kids. Man, I really <laughs> fucking love y'all. You know, you don't you don't show them as much as you should. You know, I, I really <laughs> don't show y'all as much as yeah. I should. You should hug and kiss on them, man. Good man. Come here. It's like, <laughs> hug and kiss. That's what it was. It was it's uh I was better able to it's a way better high than any other thing I've ever wow touched man and, and I remember everything yeah so how many times have you tried any other thing and you had these amazing moments that you can't remember after the fact yeah 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 but nope some of my like greatest thoughts and oh yeah I've been a better person since that's what they say. They say it's transformative. It's like I've you know, been a better person since I've been more understanding. I cry more. Wow. I wasn't. I wasn't empathetic mm. before. Why not? Why do you think you weren't? Uh, trauma. Really. A lot of trauma growing up. Uh, I don't think I was allowed. Just in my um, upbringing, crying just wasn't. You know, we were in the hood. I had older. I had an older brother who was really tough. My dad was really tough. Mm. Um, and when you, your mom was young, like y'all went to the same school. My or something, mom, yeah, my mom's super young. Mm. Didn't you know? I don't know, man. It just wasn't room to be soft anywhere, man. Not not in my upbringing, man. It just there wasn't a space for that. And then I didn't really get loved on mm. like that. It was a lot of us. I'm one of eight children. Damn. So. I didn't get loved on like I was supposed to, man. It just made me, this I, and then uh, you know my uh, one of my best friends took my first love's virginity. Jesus Christ, dude, yeah. this is like a movie with Lorenz yeah. Tate and yeah. shit. Like, in, in my defense, though, like in her defense, I cheated on her. You cheated on her. How her, did you cheat? And that's not her payback. Had sex? No, that's that we were together. Uh huh. And uh, she was like, I don't know about, you know, the whole virginity thing. We would have lost it to each other. Mm. She was taking too long, nigga. Yeah, hey, man, you know, <laughs> she was early bird gets the dang <laughs> Hey, listen, she was taking too long. And my homies was killing me every day. Damn. You, nigga, you, ain't, you still ain't got no. You're like, man, whatever. So, man, first opportunity I got, sold. Yeah, man. Yeah. It but, be like that. But uh but that had hell to has no has no fury. Yeah. <laughs> like a woman scorned. Man. She Especially fucked. when that woman is a young girl. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> fucked my homie, nigga. Jesus like, Christ. Yeah. But that's some spiteful shit to give your virginity away out of spite. Yeah, baby. Like, that's Nah, she forever. Probably, she fell in love with this nigga and oh, everything. Okay. Yeah, because ain't, no, nah, ain't no good for them. I mean, you know. But, I, but nah, it was like, I just been through, I went through a lot of stuff. And then I was a, uh, you know, I was a poor kid. I had really crooked teeth, bad mm. skin. Mm. I was a target to be picked at, but I, you know. Oh, it sounds being like a, my upbringing yeah, a little bit Yeah, but there. being a comedian, you know. I've always been funny as a way to I can keep niggas off me. So right. I'm the guy you don't want to say something to. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, it would make sense to say something about me, mm -hmm. but don't do it. It's yeah. one of those. Yeah. He, he looks like an easy target, but he comes <laughs> he comes with ammo. They yeah. don't leave that nigga alone. Been there. I, there I there's so much that. I can say about him. Just choose somebody <laughs> else. Just choose somebody. Trust me. Choose like, somebody I else. This looks, but this this not what you. Want. This is not what you want. Nobody. No one wants. Nah, man. I Nobody. just had a. Uh, I don't know, man. So I just I wasn't I wasn't really soft. I I dead inside. You know what I mean? Jeez, at least, yeah. But uh, I don't know. After I did mushrooms, man, I was able to communicate my emotions better. Mm. I was able to uh, empathize with people. Even the video that I put out today, where people are just calling me a genius and all kinds of shit. What you put out today? I put out one about Meg The Stallion being shy. Oh, I Tory read Lanes. it, but I didn't watch it. Yeah, man, people are like, oh, this guy is brilliant, but it is, it, I, I agree. <laughs> but at the same time, I couldn't make that video two years ago, maybe, a mm. year ago, maybe. It's the, the mushrooms made me go, hey, man, women getting shot in the foot by niggas, there is jokes there, mm -hmm. but let's 
let's point out the bigger problem with oh that's what, what your video was is. about yeah oh i thought you were saying why it's okay to make jokes like i said i didn't see it I just nah. it see i would have said why it's okay to make jokes about it before mm. but the comedian the like the the empathetic side of me makes me go hey man if you got shot and you were scared in that moment how funny would it be to you mm -hmm. everybody said it wouldn't so I did I did my job I got my point across but I also still made the video funny mm. Mm. to show that you can still be funny without just what you say about her foot <laughs> what did I say about her foot? I don't even know about the situation so Tory Lanez did in fact shoot Meg the Stallion I believe so Yes. Oh, but that's in question. It ain't no question. He got caught with the gun. What did he say? He, he said nothing. He, he ain't said nothing, but she won't tell on him. Mmm. Such a weird situation. Where is all these little fucking dogs and white people coming from? Okay. And that dude up there is a fucking dirty racist, huh? It's crazy and unfortunate that there's a white man upstairs. <laughs> and he just came outside and unraveled the American flag. It should not be racist to <laughs> hang the American flag in America, but it's just like, what are you trying to say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. It's like, what you getting at? You know America is in some turmoil right now. Yeah, like, why? Is this the flag you trying to wave? <laughs> but he could be a fucking wonderful, beautiful little old white man. He could be a veteran. He could be a veteran. We just caught him after he, you know, washed it and brought it back out. <laughs> He could be, but you know what? If I had to bet my couple few dollars And on that's it, what it is to be a black man in America. Yeah, totally. I would bet my dollar, my bottom dollar, though. That even though all this... It, it, he's a racist. Because you know how different and, like, you either got to be super patriotic, which you don't find those every day, mm -hmm. or you got to be a dirty fucking racist to go and buy an American flag. To, to fly it. And then really hang over that Over your bitch. residence. Out of your apartment? This, this ain't no fucking house. It ain't even a house, no. This thing, like, you don't hang shit out of an apartment. You just live in an apartment. This motherfucker's like, no. They need to know. I'm American. Right, it's rented space. <laughs> and, uh, and L.A. being one of the most, you know, one of the most melting pot of a, of a city. Yeah. Most of the people on this block probably wasn't even born here. And, but you gonna fly that flag, though. <laughs> hey, you know, I mean, more power to you, though. It got to be hard to be white right now. I'm a proud American, by the way. Are you? Yeah. I've never understood that. I am. Uh, what What is there to be proud of as an American? And that's not me saying there is nothing. Yeah. But I literally, like, don't know what's there to be proud of. In other words, what does America... Because I'm black. What does that mean? Because if you go... You go to other parts of the world where where you realize our creations and our uh, our contribution to what American culture is is so significant and it's us. You know, whenever you go to another country, the music they're going to play is going to be people of black faces. Mm -hmm. The the way that they dress, the stuff that's influenced by the slang that they're influenced by. Right. And that's uniquely African American. Okay, that's a different angle. I mean, I get that. When I when I went Absolutely. to other countries, I realized that being a black male here mm -hmm. is different than being a black man anywhere else. And when you say black, you mean African American, because mm -hmm. so that's different from you know all the other blacks. All the other blacks. It's way different, uh, and I didn't know it. Yeah, I can dig that. I can dig that. I can imagine that. It made me proud. It made me go even through, you know what I mean? Even through all the racism, you know, us creating all these different types of music. Great. It was like every time they slam a door on us, we create something great. Yeah, now, oppression builds ingenuity. Yeah. Or births ingenuity. Yeah. So even though it came from a really fucked up place, we did it. I celebrate those who did it. You know, I don't celebrate the oppression. But it's I, part of it. Yeah, but it's part of it. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. And if we really want to get to a better place, you know, it starts with acknowledging that. I don't like when people act like that's not part of it. Yeah. You know, this whole America, land of the free, home of the brave bullshit. That is such a, like, a slap in the face. How is It's a huge slap in the face. That's famously known. Not the only First thing, off, famously known for slavery. Got the 
the fucking gall <laughs> to say free to call to call it land of the free, the most incarcerated population on the planet by a large number. It's not even a close landslide. by a landslide. And it was built on freedom, and they're like <laughs> land of the free. You <laughs> fucking black jigaboo. <laughs> yeah, nigga. You fucking picking yeah. it. We're the land of the free. Yeah. So when I say when I say proud American, you know, to be black here, I think everybody should be proud of where they come from, even with the fucked up history that's attached to it. But at the end, of, a lot of people don't realize because I didn't know. You look at um, Carnival in the West Indies. You know they have they well they celebrate it everywhere. They have the parades and all of that. Mm -hmm. A lot of the culture that comes from the West Indies, islands and all that, mm -hmm. slave culture. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can imagine that. I didn't yeah. know that, but I'm I didn't surprised. know it either until it was explained to me. And that was the thing, unfortunately, about black Americans is where they try to shame us out of the things that we do culturally. They try to shame us out of soul food. <coughs> they try to shame us out of jumping the broom when we get married, doing things mm -hmm. like other but they embraced all of it mm. the the reason why they paint their bodies you know what i mean for the celebration when they used to use like mud or oil mm -hmm. or you know what i mean things before that it all represents something and it i become i became envious of you know oh my god because you know the first thing about us is we weren't allowed to have Many of our culture from Africa that was stripped right. from us, yeah, yeah. but we created all these things, and it seems like it became like taboo to love it. Of course, that was all part <laughs> of the plan of like. Yeah. I think, no, well, not man. you gotta think. I already know you know this, but yeah. it's like the it was it was the plan to hey strip them of the culture, but then this group of people who were oppressed through this oppression built another culture. Yeah, and so you can't really strip people from making culture so the only thing left to do is to make the culture that's being built taboo while simultaneously taking it and, and profiting from and it and profiting from it we made rock yes. and roll all country music all this other shit yeah. and they're like that's the devil's music and then do it and then elvis <laughs> oh yeah nah yeah yeah man don't nobody want to hear this rap shit then eminem so becomes then, then by the way we color. need a vanilla ice and aaron <laughs> carter at eminem yeah a macklemore which you know great artists whatever not to say oh these people yeah are no talented. yeah no eminem come on aaron man. carter i don't know about that at least nah, not i'm not gonna yeah I'm not, <laughs> yeah I, I wasn't even gonna acknowledge just how i check that. that's what you feel <laughs> did you now <laughs> like so you, you know, Macklemore has an amazing album. Yeah. Amazing first album. Um, I love that album. And I still got it on my I got it on my phone. I downloaded I downloaded it as soon as I got my uh iTunes, man. I love it. Uh but it shouldn't have won the Grammy over Kendrick's. Oh it, yeah, that's right. I forgot about he that. He even messaged Kendrick and was like, I'm sorry I robbed you. Mm. But that's what I'm saying, but it's it's because wow. With that? Well, I guess it's okay. Well, it it's shot across the... <laughs> I squeezed it. It's shot... Oh, I thought you were talking about that. That ass. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even see that. It's twitching, too. It's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Okay, uh, so... said what to Kendrick? Oh, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. So, it's just messed up. You know? And even Adele. Adele sounds like R&B. Yeah. yeah. What did she... What did they consider? Pop? And then she won the Grammy... And then she was like, for how many years? She was like, they robbed Beyonce. Well, it's almost like that's what you're supposed to say. Now. It, nah. No? Lemonade was a... Was a you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like it was, you get cool points for saying... Yeah, you do. The other person who people thought was going to win should have won after yeah. you won it. Because I ain't seen nobody give their award is, but away. But this is what I love about Kanye West. Oh, boy. There's, there's little things to love about him. But I, I don't know about that, but continue. There's little things to love about. Them. No, as in few or yeah, few. I think there's a few. Uh, yeah. More. No, I think there's no, more. I, but I love Kanye West. I I do too. I'll tell you why. But anyway, why do you? So like? he got mad at Beck winning album of the year 
said that uh Beck, Beyonce that? Yeah, exactly. He won <laughs> album of the year <laughs> over Beyonce. He was like, This is ridiculous. You know, they cheating Beyonce, this is what they do at the Grammys, whatever. Uh, and then he went back and listened to Beck album and he was like, Yeah, my apology, that album was was amazing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and him as an artist, he was like, yeah, and he played all the instruments. Oh wow! On that, <laughs> he was like, yeah, it was it was sensational. Sometimes you can be wrapped up in black shit though. Yeah, <laughs> you be like, you know, because you just I don't know what what a fucking Becky is. Is that a, a group, a person? It's a person, but you know, I don't know. Yeah, that sometimes you know, like I I felt like um, the Amy Winehouse hype train was too much. Oh really? When she was alive? Uh, yeah, when she won the five Grammys in one night, and mm. she beat uh, she beat Corinne Bailey Ray, "Like a Star." That oh, song, you, "Like you a really Star." You really hip to all that stuff, huh? I oh, I really am a wealth of useless knowledge. <laughs> I don't know nothing about Grammys and shit. I thought I love us, dog. Yeah, I yeah. love I love us to yeah. know in you uh, and Monique. Yeah, <laughs> I love us for real. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I I love Kanye because man, I think about this right. Only because Kanye has not failed yet, really. Like people talk about like you know him being Jesus? crazy, or whatever. When, when and I am talking about that. I'm saying oh. everything. Jesus was a no failure. no no. That ain't what I'm talking about. <laughs> everything Kanye said he was gonna do, he did. Oh yeah. He, he has not. He has yeah, not accomplished man. anything. He said he was a guy just from Chicago, right? He said, I'm going to be a producer. You can't be no producer. Became a producer, one of the best producers. Ever. Was a producer. I'm going to become a rapper. You can't be no rapper. Became one of the best rappers. Yeah. He said, man, I'm going to get into uh, fashion. You can't get into fashion. Got into fashion. Became one of the best fashion people. Man, I'm going to start making shoes. Stick to fashion. You can't make no <laughs> shoes. Number one shoe brand. Number one shoe brand. Nigga said, you good? Yeah. Nigga said, I'm going to run for president in 2020. Now, I'm not saying he's going to win, even though he never said he was going to win. He just said he was going to run, he, right? Yeah, he's been consistent. If this nigga gets some big numbers, he did it. Don't let him win. Con Nobody has reason to doubt Kanye based solely off of his, his track record. I have a reason to doubt him. What's that? <laughs> Because he said slavery was a choice and Harriet Tubman didn't free slaves. Well, you know. That, so, the vote but also just, like I, we said earlier, man, I it's just, just like that, people uh, got it. But they was like, man, fuck it. Let's hang him anyway. Because, uh. I got what he was saying, absolutely. <laughs> but, can't say no shit like that if you want to be president. Why not? Uh, if you can say grab him by the pussy, you, you can, sure can. Then you, know, you go. Yeah, because women don't vote for women. I'm still gonna vote for Kyle. I don't even know. That's the thing. I'm scared to even say what I'm gonna do. You can't see. That's the one because thing about trying to give me shit. They like to vote for Kanye <laughs> to throw your vote away. Barack Obama proved that niggas vote for niggas. Mm. He got 98 percent of the black vote. Yeah. Niggas will vote. Niggas cross the picket line to vote for him. 98% yeah. of niggas that vote ain't even Democrat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know that uh, there is a theory that Kanye's running is to get the black vote away from Biden to allow Trump to win, which is all a fucking make America great again ploy. But I don't know. If you're a black person and you vote for Kanye. Is that right or wrong? Like right now, if you don't say nothing, I have no clue what you think about it. Like, I don't know if you get ready to say you doing God's work or you're a retarded motherfucker. You're a retarded motherfucker. <laughs> Why? Because he's obviously mentally ill. Unlike who? Biden? No, no, no. No, no, no. He's Trump? He's obviously mentally ill. Unlike who? I didn't tell you to vote for anybody else, did I? Well, but 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 that's throwing your vote away. Voting for him is throwing your vote away. So either way, you're throwing your vote away. Mm-mm. One of the other two guys are going to win. <laughs> One of them other two guys are going to win. But if they all mentally ill. Yeah, but Kanye ain't got a shot. Do you understand this was the conversation four years ago? Listen, listen. I'm just saying, we were here already. No, we wasn't. Because. Who said, nobody thought fucking Barack literally said you'll never be president. Nobody thought fucking Trump had a shot. 
he didn't have a shot until he did. <laughs> That's the way it works. Hey, well, kind of. You gotta think. Trump didn't run against nobody worth a damn. Biden is a hard person to beat. Trump ran against fucking Senator, what's their last name? Clinton. Clinton. Mm-hmm. Women don't like Clinton. I, I never truly I promise looked you. into that. I promise that's, you. That's my understanding. I promise you Michelle Obama could beat that nigga. Could beat Trump? Yep. I don't think she wants to be. She don't don't want, of course she not. No, she don't want to be. I don't think she give a fuck about that at no. all. But I promise you, if she was the person running against that nigga, she would have whooped him easily. Would have spanked that nigga. I don't know, man. Um, I don't know. Bernie Sanders would have spanked them. They put the one person that couldn't beat him up against him. You know, I, I'm not very well versed on politics, so it's only so much I can contribute to this, but. Hillary was, it was easy to convince people that she was the problem, that she was part of all of the problems. She was a career politician. You ever heard of Pizzagate? Yeah. So I got a, 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 a neighbor that stays, you know, whatever, my neighbor. This motherfucker is deep into the shit. Lizard people, something about Pizzagate. Something about fucking children. It's very sad, sick stuff. Yeah. I don't know the 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 truth of it or the. You can dump all that shit in there. Okay. I don't know the fucking nothing about it, but or the validity of it. But he was like, "Yeah, Hillary Clinton, big time pedophile." Yeah. And I'm just like, "Well, so man, I man guess, listen. Though. What her, uh, what's her nigga that they made the documentary on Epstein? Yeah. Hey, man." That dude was a sex trafficker. Made a lot of money, had a lot of important uh, relationships. I believe all of them are involved with. Pe and once stuff gets to like the highest point, all I believe pedophilia is part of all that shit. If you're the biggest in any thing where you really are rubbing elbows with those type of people. I believe you're okay with pedophilia in some way, shape, or form. It's just sick, man. Yeah. It's just sick, and it's it's crazy that there's so much doubt surrounding all of it to the point where, like, you really can't even say, like, this person's evil because the shit sounds so ridiculous. It don't sound real, but then that's how people be getting away with shit. Does it sound ridiculous? Look at Listen, you know how much power... I don't even want to get into that because really, yeah. I, love, I love my career and I just, yeah, I, yeah, man, I'll I edit really all this shit out though because I can't even because this is my thing, man. Like, this is the one thing I hate about conspiracy theorists. They'll they'll run stuff down your throat just for the sake of running it down your throat. Mm. There is no end goal. There is no what are I mean, we gonna do? Like, to stop so so this? what now? Yeah, so like, what now? now my day's ruined and that yeah. shit. Get the fuck out my face. So I am not being that guy. I'm not doing that guy. Cause I at the end of the day, I'ma say all the shit that I'm gonna say, and I'ma go back to my place and keep doing comedy and not really doing nothing to change. That's what I said to my neighbor though. Off. I said to my neighbor, I'm like, so you ready to be Batman or what? Like, <laughs> yeah. You're getting, getting ready to call Commissioner Gordon? He was like, no, man, just people need to know. I said, for what? Why, why? What do you do that for? It's like a motherfucker who don't know they're going to die, and then you're like, hey, you're going to die. Like, oh, my God, how do I save myself? <laughs> well, you do nothing. You can't. Nothing you can do. Well, fuck you. What you <laughs> tell me that for? Hey, man, you're going to die this weekend. What? what? Oh, my God. Thank you for telling me. How do I stop it? You, oh, you can't. Well, you can't. <sighs> well, what now? I just thought you should know. Why? Why would you think <laughs> I should know that? <laughs> Now, now all your everything up to this weekend is ruined. Ice cream don't taste the same. <laughs> yeah, oh my shit! Now you can't even enjoy this week you had left. Yeah, when you you could have fucking died just in the middle of jerking off, and you didn't know the clock was running out. You had a fucking ball. <laughs> this fucking smarty pants conspiracy theorist who might be right. Want to fucking ruin your day? And then, oh, shit. And then you're like, man, I want to do something I've never done. I'm gonna fly to see the pyramids. <laughs> And then, that, then the plane crashes, and they're like, see, told you he's going to die this weekend in a plane crash. Bitch, I could have stayed off the plane. You could have easily said that. <laughs> but, you know, you made a list. You checked it twice. I did. 
I did, man. That list has been the subject. You took it so down. Why? I always take my list down. Oh, oh, I don't take anything down. I let. I, but I also don't have followers, so yeah, I'm I not pull, doing it correctly. I pull posts down all the time. Mm. But I shouldn't have drank that soda. Oh, well, you got that fucking... I don't drink brew. bullshit. Yeah, I don't drink <laughs> bullshit. I got water. You want water? It's too late. Oh. Like, now it's happening. Like, it's just messing my body up. My body's like, nigga, what is this? I love soda, man. It's great. Nah, it's Don't great, worry. but I've been doing... Uh, I've been being healthy. So oh, yeah? How's I, that been working I, out? Man, <laughs> I feel great waking up, you know, as opposed to before, but... Yeah, whenever you eat, like, I was eating real healthy, and then I ate McDonald's one day, and your body tells you immediately. I can't think of the last time I had McDonald's. Yeah, my it's body. It's not even been a conscious choice. It's just like. I was I was hanging out with Rito, and that's where they stopped at. And I was like, you know what? I'll just eat one thing. My body, I'm talking about, I was probably 15 minutes after eating, my body was like, hey, you know that wasn't food, right? <laughs> 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 you know, no, no. Ah, oh, yeah, ah. yeah. Yep, yep, that's what you get. Huh? Should have ate that dirt. You would have been better off. You would have been better off <laughs> eating dirt, my nigga. Oh my god! I'm telling you, it was just I got to and that's what my body's doing. Y'all seeing it happen as I drink the soda? My body's like, no. I love it, that's man. Not, I, I do. I it's, try not to drink. It, it too tastes much, so. great. That's yeah. why you keep seeing me lean out because I don't want to show. <laughs> I keep leaning out and still. I was like, I'm still gonna drink it, but man, it is. You know what I drink sometimes is like the diet or the zeros, which I know has its own poisons in it. Yeah. But when I drink like a, a regular Coca Cola, I like feel heavy. Like I can actually feel the like ickiness. Because it's not, man. I don't feel the ickiness from diet, but I know aspartame. It's cancerous and it give it turn you make you into a girl, give you titties and stuff and all that other stuff. Yeah, you looking at it. <laughs> you know. Aspartame. Yeah, man. Shit. But yes, you made a list and everybody got up in arms about it. They did. I'm and so upset. your overall I, I even made a video about it, but your overall idea of it was simply to shed light on comedians that was doing something, right? Yep. And that's what I got from it. I don't know why motherfuckers was... I mean, I can't say I don't know why. I do know why. Because people just be wanting to do... Yeah. People just be wanting to say something. But people also want acknowledgement. But I don't know what you want acknowledgement from me for. Because like, it's because... Because it... Because it existed. And you have a certain level of a platform. So, you, the same reason that people who make movies want acknowledgement from the Oscars. Even though it's like, there's other awards... But yeah. I want the Oscars because it's this high, and I want. The, however, you know, the bigger, the biggest you can get is what people want. Yeah, for sure. So I get it, but I was glad to be on it. It's very nice, you know. But to me, I thought it was obvious because you said thirty comedians. Yep. Uh, what'd you say of now this of this generation. generation? It's like thirty. That's a lot. Surely you got to know this motherfucker, like just was look at some point you're just gonna be putting people on there that you know and fuck with anyway you didn't say top you didn't say best and then you did another 30, 30 totaling 60 and people was like man this list is some bullshit like nigga comedy central ain't put out a uh, top 60 in like 10 years thank you yo but, can y'all can y'all at least appreciate that I took the time to name 59 other motherfuckers outside of myself to show love to. Do y'all not understand? I don't even know 50 comedians. You know how hard that <laughs> is, man? You gotta do research to find that. I don't get it. I was like, do y'all really think that there's 59 people that I think is the same caliber as me? I wouldn't think that I'm that great then. You know, if I'm, I'm not sure if it's 10. That's what I said. But you I came told up niggas, with sixty. Yo, I can I was like, I was telling niggas they were like, yo, well, I'm not gonna. I was like, look, y'all don't want me to make a list no way because it's not gonna a be anywhere. It's gonna be <laughs> a lot shorter, and you Might still not, not gonna be on it, right? You still not gonna be on it. The, listen, the niggas who know I, that I that, that I think are dope, they know it because I go out of my way to tell them. 
Ron know because <laughs> I go out of my way to tell him. I've heard it. I'll I'll make a point to put y'all on my shows. I'll make a point to do stuff with you. I go eat crawfish <laughs> in a fucking van with you. If I think you that nigga, I'll do that. But if you ain't like that, I ain't. Ugh. I mean, I get it, man. But th this is what this is. What I was when I was talking to some friends of mine that was next to me when we were looking at that list. My thing was this: it's like I don't even need but this just because i'm in my own career i yeah. i don't need validation from nobody like to the point where if dave Chappelle saw my set and was like i see what you're doing but i really don't think you got it i don't think this is for you <laughs> like I, I get it the stuff is funny i see some talent but this ain't for you i don't i don't i do not give a fuck dave <laughs> King David, I, 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 I promise you, I don't give a shit because that's how much that. I'm in it. Like, yeah, there I'm is nobody it. that can tell me like, Ain't uh, no not back, you. It's nigga. like you can't tell me the people that have laughed didn't laugh. <laughs> I was there, Dave. You weren't. This is the thing where I'm at. I bet I don't want to hear your praise for me unless you got something for me. Boy, yeah. That's why I bet with it. If you just think I'm dope and it just comes with a, hey man, think you're dope, and then walk off, hey man, hold it then. Hold you know, that. You know, I've gotten a lot hold of that, that. So I guess I never thought about that. Yeah. It don't really bother me, but it would be nice if it came with something. Yeah, I would nice. love for it to come with something. I've heard shit like this. Oh my God. Damn, you fucking smashed, man. Damn, that was good. I mean, the joke where you did this and the that. Woo, that was good. All right, dog. Hey, hey right. are you getting in a Bentley right now? Right, yeah. right. <laughs> yo, don't get right. Oh man, you they get a writing me. job or something. Niggas be like, man, you the shit. Yeah, you the shit. Niggas be telling me I'm the shit. And don't even follow me. <laughs> I mean, like, they're like, hey man, you not popping enough yet. But whenever you get popping, nigga, oh, gonna, you know, who? we gonna take pictures <laughs> together and everything. You know who talked to me? I, the, just gave me the most pimp shit in the world, dog. Fucking T K Kirkland. Yeah, this nigga, <laughs> cause I've seen him a bunch of times, but you know, he he had no reason to remember me. And uh, we was at the improv and somebody was telling him that I was good. I think Corey Holcomb was telling him that I was good actually. Man, Corey be honest too, boy. Yeah. Corey, yeah. And Corey was like, uh, it might not have been him, maybe it was Corey, or I doubt it was D-Ray, but one of those guys that, that didn't have to give me no compliment, gave me yeah. a compliment, and some fucking TK was like, oh yeah, how long you been in comedy? Like, uh, that's a good I'm, impression. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good impression, by the way. <laughs> it's like, I was like, uh, I mean, like, like ten years. Like, okay, yeah, a few more years you can fuck with me, maybe. Maybe a, a few more years you can fuck me. I, I come watch your set, you know. I, I'm not gonna have you follow me yet, but you know, a few more years you can fuck me. I was like, hey, brother, appreciate it. What I'm gonna do? Tell him like, nigga, I like why? He loves saying why that. though. that's his shit. I know. I but, know. Yeah. I, I can. I know a fucking. He tell, but no, but I he tell one. everybody that he tell I'm Jamie. Sure. Jamie Fox, I've watched Laugh at Palooza. He told Jamie Fox <laughs> the same shit. He was like, you can't follow. But Jamie Fox was like, I couldn't follow that nigga. <laughs> That's the other thing. It's like even if I feel I could, which I ain't seen too many situations where I feel like ain't nothing I can do. Yeah. May, maybe I can't, but in my mind, I got a game plan, and I'm a, I'm a exact it. I and remember. It, hopefully it worked. But I I'm remember tell earlier it. in my career when everything took off for me a little bit, it hadn't quite taken off for Carlos Miller yet, mm -hmm. right? And they were like, well, we're going to tie you together, tie you two together, and send you on the road and have Carlos, like, open for you. Because I guess Carlos didn't have an ego. Mm. But my thing is... You I, already knew what he could do. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm like... I don't. I feel like him opening in front of me would be mad disrespectful. Yeah, well, that nigga is a monster. And at the time, I was not. Now, now, I don't give a fuck who I go behind. Right, right, right. But at that time, when you respect the game, you respect the game, nigga. It ain't no. I remember when I first did my show here, and you opened for me. I was like, well, this nigga better than me. But hey, let's Where's do it. We were at uh, the Union. That was my first time ever performing. Oh, damn. Why was I on that show? I remember that. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a fun crowd. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, this nigga better. Yeah, but you ripped. No, you fucking ripped because you did like, 
You're like 40 minutes, didn't you? Yeah. That was yeah. Uh, 40 to an hour, yeah. Because that, that was my showcase to get an agent. Really? Yeah, so you, you ain't even know that. No. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, Ron was there for the beginning and didn't <laughs> even know it. That's crazy. Because I had knew you and knew of you way before that. Yeah, I had uh, did. I was living in North Carolina at the time. I flew out there, sold out the union to audition to get an agent, and you was on that show. Wow. Look at you. Now you're rich and famous. Uh -huh. Still living famous. In I ain't rich. I ain't rich. <laughs> Hey, Rich. Fame comes before the money. Damn, I ain't Which got Which is so dumb, but I it does. Say I ain't got nothing. I, I'm a quarter. You famous. got plenty. You plenty famous, nigga. I got good friends. I got a of the crawfish. Motherfuckers who love comedy know you. I guess. Thank you. I just need people who get some money to know. Me. Nah, but this is the thing, Ron. You young as fuck. Not anymore. In this game, you young as shit. 28? That's what's there. Listen to what you just said. 28. 28. Think about By the time Chris Rock was 28, you know, that nigga was out of here. <laughs> Fucking Eddie Murphy was done with comedy at 28. Yeah, you just named the two niggas. Yeah, nigga. yeah, yeah. How old was <laughs> Bill Burr when that nigga finally broke through? 73. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nigga, Dave, Dave did the Chappelle show at like 28. But he had already been doing comedy. Since he was 14. For, like, for 15 <laughs> years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, don't ever get it twisted, nigga. This is a long, long journey, nigga. Yeah. Is. You know what, though? I do be thinking, like, had I not, but granted, had I not gone through and did all the things that I've done, I wouldn't be the person I am now. But I could have probably been further along. And I didn't find this out until all this whole drinking and DUI and jail shit took place, which clearly I'll have to talk about in another episode. But man, I had a lot of fun, dog, and it stopped a lot of work. Like I used to doing shit with all the digital, and uh, especially when I was living in here, they'd call me. I'd be hung over as fuck, show up late, yeah. missing shoots. I'm sure I did that with a bunch of other things. And all them niggas grew to. They're the, all rich and famous. They all grew to be. That all that shit actually they did. Fucking, <laughs> and this the thing. So before I really Yo, even knew what I don't mean was, to laugh. But literally, I want to say, man, you never know, but no, every single person involved Tony, in that story. Doughboy, Cam, every Shigir, last one of Pat. them, every last one of them makes money off the day, off of their likeness now, and they're just looked at as the all deaf gang. Even when all deaf was no more, they fans carried over into their platform. They brought it back. They, yeah, they no, they brought it back. It back. I, I know. Supposed to shoot something with them. Uh, Baron time. Davis, Ti, and them uh, all. Went in and bought it together. That's really? Right. Yeah. I should call Baron. Yeah. Hey, what's the deal, brother? You, you don't know me no more? <laughs> yeah, I uh, I ain't even know. I went up to his office or whatever. He was like, yeah. Oh, but that uh. They coming to do some. They doing some dope stuff, man. Oh, okay, that's cool. I need to throw my name back in there. Please the hat. do, yeah. man. They could use you for sure. But yeah, dog. Like I was doing all that stuff, and before I really knew what all that was, I just thought, cause this is back when like. The, when I was like, nigga, it's stand up and death. Yeah. That's it. Fuck a video. Fuck a YouTube. Fuck a my two. I was like, that's it. So I was like, man, fuck all. I didn't even know who ran it. I didn't know it was some fucking Russell Simmons shit. Like, fuck all death. And I thought it was ran by kids. Yeah. Because everybody there was young. I'm like, who's the fucking leader here? There was no adults there. It was just Kev on stage. And then. And then I realized like it was a big deal, and most of the followers I got now are from there. So, yep. you know, my plan is to uh, get back on the ball, dog, and just take advantage of that. But yeah, had I not fucked around so much early on moving here, I would have. Uh, I can't say I would have, but I could have been further along. Well, who knows? What I probably had nothing to joke about. I got a lot of shit yeah. to joke about now. I'm telling you. Your path is your path, and you did it the right way. Because, Let's see. nah, because I tell you this, man. Ryan, by the way, right now is dealing with famous people stuff. He's going through his phone, anyway. checking emails. He got to hit back Gabrielle Union. He ain't nah. going to be able to make it to dinner First tonight. off, I have never in my life had DMs with Gabrielle Union. <laughs> Ever. I 
I saw her back when Dwayne I was Dwayne Wade, age. of course. I didn't but, say that. Date not to see. It could be a fucking lunch, you know, fucking. No, what I'm saying is. Business I haven't, I haven't DM'd her. But her husband, uh, <laughs> Hall of Fame, shooting guard, <laughs> multiple time champion, Dwayne Wade. Oh my God, yes, Dwayne we Wade. Have, yes, <laughs> yes, we've uh, DM'd each other. Uh, Jill Scott as well. Oh, Jill uh, Scott, like the video of mine. I think she did yeah. it by accident. He thinks she did it by accident. She, she has no reason to have liked my stuff at all, but, but she did. Because it was good, bro. Why How would she so? have seen it? Yeah. You got like 8,000 followers. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yes. Yeah, you're connected so. to us. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. You're connected to Tony. She loved Tony. Yeah, I went back and liked one of her pictures. I was just like, I don't know. What, what else am I supposed to Man, do? I, I ain't going to lie know. to you. I love Jill Scott. Oh, yeah. More than she knows. Tell her. And I refuse. <laughs> I I refuse to meet her. <laughs> like, because yeah. I don't know, know how thing. I'm going to react. I don't know how I'm going to react. And I need to practice. Yeah. So if I ever, like, am put in a situation where I'm going to meet her, I have to practice. Yeah. Like, hey, well, you uh, know, that's my thing, up? man. <laughs> like, I never tell girls I like that I like them. Mm -hmm. that's, I, just, I just like them from afar. Just tell my buddies. <laughs> all these fucking, I've done this on many episodes. All these fucking girl comedians yeah. that we all like, man, that's not a sister to me. Nigga, I ain't got no sister. <laughs> okay? None of you hoes is kidding me. <laughs> Yo. I want to kiss you. You know what out. I realize about today's female comedians? I think today's female comedians are far more attractive now than ever before because mm. it is a thing just to be that. Hmm. You know well, what yeah, I mean? I would, I, would, I would definitely agree. I wonder, is that the reason why? Well, I think, you know, each year the world becomes a little bit more superficial. Hmm. So it it just becomes a... There was a time where being funny was enough to get you through the door. But now, just being funny doesn't even... Hmm. Being beautiful gets you further than being funny you know i would think it would be more so like this or I've, I've thought of it this way like funny once upon a time belonged to simply the degenerates yes and the fucking ugmos and so on and so that's true because even because the ugmos. men were ugly too right and but now it's like two but two things of what you said like people because we're more superficial there's less ugmos yes it's never gonna be less funny so that funny has to go to somebody, somebody yeah. and now it just happens to go to this pretty bitch yeah. it used to be funny was exclusively for men and ugmos yeah now it's like there's less ugmos because of plastic surgery there's less things of being able to shit on women so some of these women gonna get funny and now you got pretty ass comedians yeah and it's so funny. I be sitting there, fake respecting them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole. I'm bro. like, you go, girl. <laughs> Look at you, crazy, <laughs> crazy. I this girl's cheating. No, I don't do that. Because <laughs> I think, cause to be honest with you, man, I think all of us are seriously broken because we don't do mushrooms. No, it's some fucking funny Y'all should do oh, mushrooms. Yeah. But good brother, this has been amazing, man. It has. I thank you for coming oh, on. Oh, man, you know? this was fun. We did it up. <laughs> we had fucking crawfish. We talked a little shit about a little bit of everything. Uh, I'm going to try to cut this up and, and get it out as soon as possible. If I do the right thing, I'm going to have it done. I'm not going to say when because I have no fucking clue. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, man, so... Bam! This is the most efficient episode I've ever done. The camera ain't dead yet. It ain't completely hey. dark. We're done eating. Anyway, where can the good people follow you? They can follow me on Instagram at Ryan Davis Comedy uh, or on YouTube at With All Due Offense. And uh, Facebook, of course, you can find me. Just type in Ryan Davis Video. I'll pop up. So. Beautiful. All right, until next time. Appreciate it, dog. Appreciate y'all. Peace, my everybody. Man. Hoop.